back again. Well, you know, another car, another car, another podcast to talk to you about another test car. Well, this is going to be a lecture yeah. from you to me because okay. I never drove it. Okay. But well, it was a? It was the Mercedes C-Class 220 diesel. Okay. The one that goes to Cape Town on a single tank of fuel. You know what? It can. This thing is <laughs> stupid light on fuel. Uh-huh. I mean, it's a C-Class, which let me tell you is the size of an E-Class of a generation or two back. Really? It's big. Have they improved the size of the interior now? The, it's not like the first C-Classes that were cramped. Okay. Forget it. This is a full-on medium sedan. Okay? Uh, let's start. It's the You've got this massive tablet screen. I mean, okay. it is like crazy okay. how big it is. It works brilliantly. It does everything. You can, you know, that would have been your scene, but it's just got everything. It does it all. Okay? okay? Let's talk the engine for a few moments. 220. It's a two-liter diesel. Okay? But now what Merck do is they add mild EQ to all their engines now. You know that. Mm-hmm. So there's this... I, I, I don't understand the tech on it, but it's mild, mild, hybrid, they, mild hybrid EQ okay. assistance, whatever. So it puts out 160 kilowatts. 160? Yeah. From a two-liter diesel. And it says plus EQ, which I don't quite get. And yeah, it still gives you that fuel consumption. Yeah. And what was it? 400 odd Newton meters. Sure. Okay. okay. I mean, it's... it's Look, it's a cruiser. How much? It's scare a me, cruiser. Me. Just, just, let's get that out of the way. Of how much? No, is. hang on. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh. This thing is a cruiser, okay? I did... We did a parade trip as well in this. So you can just imagine. Overall consumption for a week of... Well, five days of driving, 600-odd kilometers. Mm-hmm. 600 Ks. Okay. Yeah, it, which included, let's call it 300 was the trip to Paris and sure. back. Okay. 5.6 liters per hundred. That's Suzuki territory. And when I took it back, they were telling me people are getting it lower. Good which did trouble. upset me because normally I'm one of but the best. But 160 kilowatts. Yeah. But look, Good it's, it's not the kind of car that you put no, foot no, 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 in. No, 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 understood, understood. But it's there. It's a C-class. It's never, you, know. you want to overtake. It's No, hang on. Until the 43, 53, 63 C-class Start has come. come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're talking the diesel baby yeah, and yeah. also the baby. Yeah. Engine-wise of the C-Class, okay? How much? Look, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hang on. I'm coming there now. Remembering that this is base price, specs can go mad, okay? Sure. So let's not debate that because that's we, not we the issue. We all know that's we all part know. parcel of the deal. Yeah. yeah. 950 base price. Okay. It sounds like a lot, but it's a lot of car. But the thing about it is it's not that. It's a Mercedes. I mean, it's, it's going to be... It's a Merc. It's, it's a setting, proper Merc. It's always setting the standard. It is. But again, the opposition are at the same kind of money yeah. and more. But it's not that. What it is, is this new C, and I drove them on launch, remember? Yes. And I drove petrol and diesel on launch. Yes. This thing feels like a much bigger car. Mm. Now, by saying it feels bigger, I don't mean it's heavy to drive. Because there's no car on the market anymore that feels heavy to drive. Forget it. Barring maybe some double cabs, whatever, whatever, and even those. Yeah. Okay. You, you know what I mean yeah, by that? I, I get. I get. Everything is light, easy, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. that's that's the world we're living in. Yes. What I mean is, it sits on the road. Mm. It's smooth. It's relaxed. It's comfortable. It's, it's quiet. Oh, dead. Even for a diesel, dead quiet. It's spec to the hilt. Nine-speed automatic, by the way, I didn't nine mention. Speed. The nine-speed okay. order, which I'm going to say, I hate that stalk gear lever. That little stalk oh, on the column. To select. To <laughs> drive, reverse, press on the end of it for park. So, okay, so it's exactly the same as for the electric thing, because that took me a little while of no, figuring it's, it's, it out. And I was all like, Mercs have it. Hang and on a sec. Mm. I have driven, as you'll see on my channel, most Mercs. But then it removes the the, the, the yeah, no, it the opens console, up. It's brilliant. Nice. Yeah. It's brilliant from that point of view. Space sure. utilization for the center console. It's great. Yeah. My problem is, no matter how many Mercs I drive, when you're at some point I'm going to try and indicate and knock it into neutral, as I've done on a freeway at 120, and suddenly it's because you your revs are screaming because you're actually in neutral and you've got no power. You don't you've know what's got, going you, on. You've got no drive. Yeah. yeah. And look. 
maybe to a person who owns it and used to it. Yeah. But remembering we changing cars all the bloody time not at the moment. Every week, every day. Mm. And I just had this thing and I, I don't know. It just I, look, I've always got to find a piggy point anyway, and this is my standard one small, on Merck. Small one from Merck, yeah. It's a little one, but it is an issue okay. to me. Yeah. Okay, gets, let's get beyond but that. But other than that, it was fine. Look, it's got multi-modes, you can go into sport mode, etc. But you know what, that's one of those cars that, why? Has it got massage seats? Not I'm standard sure you can on probably that one. Add it, I'm yeah. sure you yeah. can add them. But I'm saying it's one of those, why go into sport or into dynamic or into whatever. Yeah, it's there if you really want it. Yeah, if you want it, but you know what, even yeah. if you're on the highway, at the national speed limit, you want to overtake, you don't need it. No. It's got paddles, would make Yay. you happy, yeah. Didn't touch them while I was driving it, obviously. Okay. It's got it all. It's a Merc. Yeah. It's a true Merc. So, so the build quality the is build there. The build quality is there. The extras are there. The panoramic roof, blah, blah, blah. The hey Mercedes function, which still interrupts me when I'm trying to do my <laughs> video and I say the dreaded M word. You know what the dreaded M word is? Mercedes. That's it. There you go. And I happen to just say it in my video filming and it pops How up. How may I help you? Okay. Sort yeah, of. Like, yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah. yeah. But look, those are silly little points. But I mean, the, the voice recognition. Yes, other brands are bringing it, but how, how good is it? Because it is. I remember in the yep. day when it first mm. started, mm. it was better specking your car to leave it off. No, it's it's certainly getting there. Okay, it, it improving. It, it is improving with every model, with okay. every generation. It's got it. Look, this is the latest. As I said, that massive tablet screen—you just yeah. can't believe. But it's it's beautifully angled. Okay, and. You know, so it's not one of these that's been bolted on as an option. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's integrated into the it's design. It's actually quite of the low down okay. on the center console as well. Kind of like Landy's doing. But right. it's there, you yeah. know. And yeah, it's, it's not one that plucked on yeah. top, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, so not like, at all. Yeah. Oops, yeah. we better put one on. Yeah. Correct, yeah. yeah. And the other thing I just want to mention you, you said about the gear shift freeing up space in the yes. center console. Yes. So you've got this lovely big console. Yes. Then with a sliding cover, obviously. Yes. Inductive charging. Yes. And then in front of that, the two cup holders and the next to it is another like slot, which my phone doesn't work with inductive charging. So I was dropping my phone in there. Okay. Nicely sits there, nice, very nicely. I switched off the car the one time and a message pops up on the screen saying, check you've, you've your left. phone because you've left it. I mean, I'm not using the words, but, but basically you're reminding me that my phone was in, the car. in that slot, not okay. just in the inductive charger. Okay. Which I thought was really impressive. That's clever. Yeah. So there we go. Nice little touch. C-Glass, look, as always, you're a Merc fan, a BM fan, a Lexus fan, or a, or an Audi fan. And you're you're an up-and-coming executive. Yeah. This is the car. Who's got a million-ish to spend. You cannot ignore the new C-Glass. Mm. There's just no way. It's one of those. Okay. Yeah. My take. Good. That's it. Will and Will? Alan Will. See you next time.